Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is an extra special one and a stressful one for me. You know, apart from eyeshadow palette, what is the other category that I love the most and that is blushes. And we are going to rank all the blushes that I have in my collection. We are including powder blushes, liquid blushes, cream blushes, you name it and it is here. I have not included anything uh, blush palette wise or anything that has been discontinued. So these are all like available in the market. So if you're ready to get into this madness and rank all my blushes, please keep on watching. Okay. I have my notes here and it was very, very difficult. Let me tell you anything that is like that I do not like in the blush category has already been decluttered. So these are all the blushes that I wear. Like I have 29 in front of me and I know that's quite a bit and I might be missing somewhere, <laughs> some of them somewhere. Uh, so, and I did not like, obviously I did not rank like the shades because I have multiple like shades from a similar brand, if that makes sense. But I only like, uh, ranked the brand if that makes sense like a, a yeah you get it you get it <laughs> okay so on number 29 I ranked Fenty Beauty's cream blush and this is their cheeks out cream blush and I have mine in the shade strawberry drip I basically ranked this on the bottom one because of the shade it's like a poppy pink not saying that it is like bad by any means. I still wear it like in summer season. I really feel that this is like very beautiful if you're not wearing a lot of eye makeup, which you'll hardly find me not wearing eye makeup, especially if I have like a full face of makeup. I would have something on the eye at least. But if I do not have anything, this like popped on the cheeks would look like a very fresh face on the on the face. For that reason, I really, really like it. But this does have like that sticky, uh, like a tacky consistency. I don't want to swatch everything because we'll be sitting here for hours. But that's how strawberry drip looks like it. Definitely, you can like share it out. It's not my favorite formula, but yeah, it's not my favorite formula out of the bunch that we are going to talk. So that's why it's ranking on the bottom. Okay, let's move on to number 28. And this might surprise you because some of the people really, really swear by this formula. Me, not so much. And there's a reason behind it. I'm going to talk about my Milani baked blushes. And I know Luminoso is like one among the favorite, like cult favorite uh, shades. I have the shade Rose Diore. I have ranked this in the bottom of the list just because I hardly wear glowy blushes on the cheek and this is glowy like this mainly seems like a highlighter for me I would say and I whenever I'm wearing this like on my cheeks one I do not wear highlighter and second whenever like the sunlight hits it feels like, you know, I have a lot of sparkle going on my cheeks and I am a person who has a lot of texture on my face. I do not like to emphasize this and this emphasizes every texture on my skin. And th for that reason, I'm going to uh, rank it a little on the bottom side. On number 27, I've ranked my Moira blushes that has a beautiful packaging. And my sister actually was telling me that she really, really wants these uh, blushes. So I'm going to give her like the orange one because she was interested more in that shade, this one. And this is the more like soft berry shade. This is orange blossom and this is soft berry. I'll keep soft berry with me and I'll give her the orange blossom one. Is there anything wrong with this uh, blushes? Absolutely not. And these were like a viral blushes because of the pattern that is inside it. A person who does not have this kind of a vast collection that the way I have would absolutely enjoy this. And that's why I'm going to give this to my sister. These are extremely pigmented. So you cannot like go swirl your brush. You look like a clown at the end of the day, for sure. You have to go with like a very, very light hand. A little goes a very, very long way. And I feel like it's, it's going to look beautiful for the people who are like light-handed. So I am gonna rank this on 27 because I do not reach out for this a lot. Uh, but whenever I reach it, I mean, I, I really love the look. On number 26, I'm gonna talk about the LA Girl Just Blushing Blushes. Now this one is definitely a shade preference, I would say. This one I have in the shade Just Natural. 
it's very very light on me i basically cannot wear this in like summer season when i'm a little more on the tanner side but in the winter season this gives me like a very light i won't even say like flushed but like something on the cheek kind of an effect uh i feel like if you're a fair skin tone you would absolutely love it because the formula is really really good it's just the shade it doesn't match my medium to tan skin tone so for that reason i'm gonna rank this on a little lower side but it's just like a shade thing and not like the formula thing on number 25 i'm ranking these candy paint heart blushes these are from half caked beauty i have two shades with me one which i wear a lot more than the other this one is in the shade millions of peaches and the second one is in the shade velvet tiger which i which is more of my shade you can see this clearly like i i love to wear a little bit more of a mauvey blush rather than like a peachy blush i feel like this just falls right in this place not because that i i do not like these blushes again these are all the blushes that i really really like but it's just like a formula preference this feels a little bit more uh tacky on my skin even if i like blend it down it doesn't like go down to a matte finish which i personally love if a blush blends out to a soft matte finish on my face and it's not sticking to my hair i personally like that more uh, this definitely has a little bit more tack on the skin when it sits on and i'm more of a combination skin tone so that keep that also in mind okay this is definitely going to surprise you and again this is a shade thing on number 24 i have rare beauty blush and this one is in the shade love on the contrary part this is super super pigmented <laughs> i know people love this blush formula so don't hate me it's just that this is super pigmented so a little goes a very long way you can over apply this and i basically do not like to think when i'm applying blushes makeup is definitely more like therapeutic to me rather than like stressing over and i don't want to like put dots on my face and if i'm like talking or if i'm like doing my own thing i don't want like dried out blush spots on my face and for that reason that's the only reason why i do not like this and that can be because of the shade thing too because this shade is definitely more on the deeper side for me and that's the shade love but if you go again with a light hand uh, work quickly it performs really really well so guys bear with me okay <laughs> i really like all of this i'm just placing it in the order the way i wear it like the most so so that would be on number 24. On number 23, we have Milani Chi Case Liquid Blush. This one and this one is in the shade Nude Flush. Again, I love this formula. Absolutely love this formula. I feel like if I'm wearing like a smoky eye, I can make it work. But I would not be able to make this work in like an everyday basis, I would say. Just because it's, it's just like very earth tone for me. And I don't feel like this... Um, looks good on me like this specific shade does look good on me and that's the only reason but i'm pretty sure if i like uh, look out for like more shades i will definitely find a shade that works for me again none of them are bad by any means and i love them very very much that's why it's not decluttered from my collection but it just falls in that place right now on number 22 we have colourpop's uh, putty blush and this one is in the shade Yes She Did. I love, love the shade. Absolutely love this shade. It doesn't go as deep as you're seeing in the pan when you uh, like spread it out on your cheeks. It's much more like a earthy tone. I love these shades on, especially on my like medium tan skin tone, just because I feel like it's super, super unique. It again, it blends out to a very powdery finish on my face. And this I can wear like in my everyday life. And I feel absolutely lovely when I wear this just because I feel like this complements my skin tone really, really well. So for that reason, I'm ranking it on number 22. On number 21, I have Milk Makeup's Blush Stick and this one is in the shade Work. Now this one, you can use it on your lips as well as on your cheeks. I feel like this is very, very travel friendly. 
it sometimes breaks me out that's the reason why am i writing it a little little lower but the shade is absolutely beautiful again if you can use this small tiny thing for your uh, lips as well as your cheek like what is not to love about it and i i love the formula i love the shade i i really really love it on number 20 we have a wet and wild blush and i used to have a lot of them i i'm pretty sure i have a few more in my collection i just cannot find one this is the most used shade in my collection and this is mellow wine i really 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 love this shade this is like a couple of dollars and if I need like a terracotta blush in my everyday life. This is the one that I go for. You cannot go wrong with this. It's pigmented. It's not overly pigmented, but it just shows up on your skin so nicely. It blends so seamlessly into your foundation. I absolutely love this one. If you've never tried like wet and wild blushes, and this is like an older packaging right now, they have like more of a uh, circular packaging with like a sleek uh, finish. It's really, really pretty. The formula is lovely. Like wet and wild does some great products and this is like one of the good products that they do. On number 19, I have Colourpop's Heart Blushes and this one is in the shade Let's Dance. I love the shade. This packaging one is a pain to open. That's why it's ranking a little lower. Second, mine didn't even come like glued. So another dud for me, I would say. But the, uh, but the shade is really, really nice. I really love when I apply this on my cheeks. So I'm gonna rank this a little more on the higher side. But again, there are a lot of flaws to this packaging. I would have loved if this was more like this kind of a packaging which is magnetized rather than that you know glass packaging so that's the only thing that i need to like keep in mind uh, i always like dig my nail into it just because it's so hard to open that's why on number 19 on number 18 it's another peachy blush i really really love this one and this is from catrice and this is their blush box water and sweat proof blush i love this one like I really, really love to wear this, especially in like the springtime or like summertime when I want that fresh face to my cheek, even in the wintertime for that matter. If I want that cold girl vibe uh, to my face, I really, really love this. This is very, very fresh on my uh, face. This one is in the shade Golden Coral. It's more of a matte blush, but it doesn't like dry matte on the skin. It's very natural finish on the skin. I really love this one. On number 17, we have Elf Putty Blushes. I have two shades with me. I have Turks and Caicos, which is more of the peachy one. And then I have the shade called Tahiti, which is more of the pinker version of it. Now, this is definitely more on the drier side, as you can see. Mine looks filthy because I just go dip my brush into it directly. That's why it's looking like that. I use Turks and Caicos a lot more, again, because of that freshness. I definitely have to like use it a little bit more. I used to use this a lot, but because of the blush collection that I have, this goes into the back drawer, which should not be the case. So I'll definitely keep it in my like daily rotation again. But otherwise, from the drugstore, if you're looking for like cream blush and you do not mind like a matte finish on the face and you like that putty formula, you'll really like that one. On number 16, I have Believe Beauty uh, Cream Blush. This is another peachy blush. This one is in the shade Tropical Sunset so beautiful i feel like this would look like another, uh, other peachy blushes that i have in my collection this by every means i would say it looks neon on my uh, skin like look at that it's just so pretty like this might look scary in the beginning but it blends out so nicely and it gives such a fresh uh, look on the face i really really love this one and that's again from Believe Beauty. It's like under $5 and you cannot, absolutely cannot go wrong with that one. On next, I have Merit Beauty a Blush Balms. And this you would absolutely love if you like natural uh, makeup on your face. And I specifically love this shade the most. And this is Fox. I feel like for every day, I really, really love this one. And then I have the shade Cheeky. This is in the old packaging. And this is more like a mauve toned blush for me. And then I have the shade called Beverly Hills, which is more nudie, like nudie pink, I would say. 
So this is Beverly Hills. You can hardly see that. You would really like it if you are more of a fair skin tone. This is my favorite one. This is Fox. And this is Cheeky, which is more like a mauve uh, cool tone pink shade. Really, really pretty. I definitely prefer Fox for my everyday. And that's why that sits in my everyday drawer. Really, really love the formula. Again, that gives a very dewy finish on the uh, face. I really love to wear it like with minimal makeup. Just when I'm wearing like just a skin tint on my face. And just a little bit of like uh, concealer, you know, mascara. Just a lip gloss and that on the cheeks. Just looks beautiful. On number 14, it's a newer blush in my collection. This was from the Timu haul. And this is from the a brand called La Mila Color Geometry. I just love this shade so very much. Very, very similar to that ColourPop blush that I was looking. But this was more in like a powder uh, blush format. This is the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I don't know even if you can like see it or not. But this is such a beautiful, beautiful shade. Like is it orange? Is it terracotta? Is it pink? Is it brown? You never know. And this really blends out so very nicely on the cheek. And you can definitely blend it out to like a very skin-like finish on the face too. I really, really love this one. So this is definitely ranked a little higher and this is on number 14. On number 13, we have Elf's Primer Infused Blushes. Oldie but a goodie, but this is such a good one. This lasts your blush on the face for the entire day. And I love this shade. This shade is called Always Rosy. It just goes with everything. I mainly, I have traveled with this so many times just because I feel like this is such beautiful tone. On the back of my hand, it doesn't even look like anything, but this is such a pretty shade. It goes with like everything, like cool tone looks, warm tone looks, just because this is like a true neutral tone pink shade, everyday pink shade, and I love that shade. And the formula is stunning, absolutely stunning. And again, the price point, it's like under $6 or something, love it. On number 12, I have Tower 28 blushes. Obviously, I love my Tower 28 blushes, but I have recently felt like the Tower 28 blush, whenever I'm wearing this, I feel like my cheeks are a little bit more on the tackier side. And that's the only reason why am I ranking it a little more on the lower side, but I love this formula. I really, really love, that's why I have like four of them. All of them were purchased by me. I've not been sent like PR from Tower 28 by any means. I just love the brand really, really well. And they have some good shades. And I often wear, the most used shade is definitely Magic Hour for me, which is like a nudie pink shade, this one. And then I really love the shade Office Hours which is the mauvey pink shade. Um, and then for summer season, I really like golden hour. And then for like winter season, I really like power hour. Yeah, very, very beautiful shades. Love it. On number 11, I have M Cosmetics Heaven's Glow blushes. You know I love M Cosmetics blushes. This is ranking uh, on number 11 just because this is a glowy blush. Now, this is the only glowy blush that I would rank a little bit more on the higher side just because this is the only glowy blush that looks glowy on my skin but doesn't emphasize the texture and that is saying a lot. Like I really, 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 really love this uh, formula from M Cosmetics. And if you're looking for a glowy blush and if you do have texture on your skin, this is the blush that you need to look out for because this is beautiful. I have mine in the shade Venetian Rose, which is more of that mauve tone blush. So I really love that one. Really, really. Going to top 10. On number 10, we have Milani Cheek Kiss. This is the cream blush and I love this shade. This one is in the shade Merlot Moment. I don't think I have any blush which is this shade. This is like a true berry shade and whenever i am wearing this blush people compliment me like look how blood berry it looks on the face but you can sheer it out so nicely and especially in like winter months this looks 
so cold girl effect it's it's so beautiful i love 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 this formula it's very lightweight very thin formula but it packs a punch on the face that's the beauty about this and again it's a drugstore blush and it performs like high end on number nine i have persona cosmetics blushes i have two blushes with me i have the shade georgia which is a peachy blush and then I have the shade Caramel, which is more of a mauve blush. I love the packaging. It's so thin. It's so sleek. And this is like my basic uh, shades that I love to wear. And I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm actually thinking of taking these two uh, for my trip uh, this time. I feel like this is like very thin, compact, but it does so much for me so i really really love this one and this has like that soft blurring effect on your skin too so if you do have like if you struggle with texture on your skin it just blurs out everything and the shades are so pigmented it's not overly pigmented but it's like pigmented to show up on your face like it's so beautiful and the color the shades are like so fresh it's it's really really pretty on number eight I feel like this cream blush definitely is underrated in Sephora and on number 8 I have the LYS Beauty's cream blush specifically the shade Confident I feel like this is more of the putty texture I would say this is definitely like a clay texture this is a very similar shade to that Timu blush the Colourpop blush that I was talking about these shades I absolutely love it's a very it's very underrated but it's so beautiful at the same time like is it rusty is it mauvey is it nudie but it just packs a punch it feels like a very natural matte finish on the face it's not flat matte by any means but the shade is absolutely lovely like you know i have a taste in these blushes either it's going to be peachy blush either it's going to be mauvey blush or it's going to be like this um and i love it like i absolutely love that shade if you've not tried lys beauty i feel like one of the top products from lys beauty is the cream blushes do give it a try i think you'll absolutely love it on number seven and six these can go interchangeably so i don't know like what to rank where but i'm going to talk about she glam blushes and the profusion blushes both of them are top notch quality uh, blushes this is from she glam and this one is in the shade rose ritual it's so high end quality both of them are liquid blushes and profusion one is in the shade paloma this is the only red blush that i have in my collection and i love it like i was in initially i was very intimidated by the shade but they perform very very uh similarly on the face but these are such beautiful obviously i wear she glam one more just because of the shade uh like the shade is like uh everyday pinky nude but the shade paloma is just something that I do not have in my collection and it's so beautiful like look at that it's just stunning especially on the cheeks all blended out it looks lovely and you can see that like sheen coming through on the face I would say it looks very very natural it's not glowy by any means and it sticks to the face and it doesn't come off uh, it lasts through the entire day till the time you don't want to get it off uh, but otherwise the formula is absolutely lovely it's just stunning quality blushes I know She Glam, you can only find it from the She Glam website, but Profusion is like in every Walmart. So if you've not tried Profusion blushes, these are both like under $10. I feel like you'll absolutely love it. Top five blushes. These are like my top, top, top notch quality blushes. On number five, I'm going to rank my Doll 10 blushes. I have quite a few collection of Doll 10 blushes. I feel like I fell in love with cream blushes only after Doll 10, uh, only after trying Doll 10 blushes. I have quite a few collection. This is very, it's so easy to wear. The formula is so, so, so lovely. Like I love the shades that they have in their collection and I wear them equally. Like I really, really do. Like these, are they looking similar? No, by any means, I would say just because they have such a good variety of blushes and whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> they have such a good variety of blushes and shades 
and i yeah i just love them so very much like this is stepping out which is more of a mauvey blush this is kiss on the cheek which i generally use uh with like my smoky eye looks this is the shade called hashtag doll squad which is like my everyday blush and this one is in the shade pop star peach which is more of like the peachy shade uh, i have one more but i cannot balance everything on my hand so wait a second <laughs> And last, certainly not the least, I have another mauve blush. This is called She's a Doll. But this is not as much as like a mauve shade. This is more like that, you know, the shade that I keep on saying that I love. Uh, it has like a little bit of terracotta in as to it, a little bit of nude in as to it, a little bit of brown to it. Really, really pretty. Like I love that, love the formula of Dalton blushes and they often do have like a sale going on on their website. So if you've not, uh, not tried Dalton blushes, I feel like that brand is also like superb to like look out for. Definitely well, like very underrated in this beauty community, I would say, but they create some good quality products. Really, really would recommend them. On number four, I have Patrick Ta Blush Duo and I have mine in the shade Do We Know Her, which is more of that orangey uh, blush. I love that it is a duo. I love that this packs a punch. You can wear it like with the powder formula only or with the cream formula. And I love that you can like layer one on top of each other in any way, shape or format. And it doesn't look cakey by any means. It looks very natural on the face. If you want more impact on your cheeks, go with the cream first and then tap powder on top of it and that will set your cream blush but it will give you more of a matte finish but if you go with the powder first and then go with the cream it gives you more of a dewy finish and goes gives more like liveliness to the cheeks i really really love or you just use one um, and do not use the other like you can just do so much with this i really really love this one on number three i have pat mcgrath blushes and these are their divine blushes i have two shades with me nude venus and cherish nude venus is like my everyday uh nudie mauve shade you know you know the gist by now <laughs> and then we have the shade cherish which is like a hot pink shade Again, very, very underrated uh, shade in my collection. I would say I don't go generally for like the hot pink blushes. But after wearing this blush, I've gotten so many compliments on like uh, pink blushes on my cheeks, which I, I never knew that I could like pull off a pink blush. But this is more like a matte finish. And this is the uh, nude Venus blush. And this is more of like a satin finish but both of them like blur out the skin texture on the face it just looks very very lovely and i really really adore this formula so again wait for like a sale on the pat mcgrath website pat mcgrath always does like 30 percent off sale on their website that is the time when you need to like grab these uh, formula if you're looking for one i feel like you'll definitely not be disappointed because they have lovely shades i'm actually looking out for the divine blush three shade that she just came out with the collection the bronze collection i think uh i feel like i would really wear that shade a lot but again i'll wait for a sale and then i'll grab one do i need it absolutely not with the amount of blushes that i have i need to like get rid of the blushes first before i get in more blushes <laughs> on number two these are liquid blush formulas and these are from drugstore and i have used this so very much and i feel like these formula and the shades are adorable and this is from flower beauty and this is their blush bombs and i have mine in the shade cheeky and spice cheeky is more of a mauve formula and uh, spice is more of like that you know the rusty nudie terracotta shade and i love them so very much this is a formula that i absolutely love to wear you cannot uh, like go wrong with this shade by any means because this is so user friendly i'll show you the sh uh, the swatches for these shade and a little goes a very long way and it just goes and it's just so pretty on the face this is spiced and this is cheeky look at that really really beautiful again very natural finish on the face you cannot go wrong with this and you can definitely if you have more than one shade you can mix it up and create your custom shade and that gives like my kind of a shade 
really 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 beautiful now are you ready for top the top blush of my collection the number one blush that i love from my collection are from m cosmetics and these are their so soft blushes i have three shades with me i'll swatch all three in front of you because i just love this formula so very much this is some uniqueness in my collection i would say i've never felt a formula of a cream blush before that feels like this it feels moussey it feels pigmented but it blends like a dream and i love it so very much this is the shade passion it's more of like an orange shade with like a yellow undertone to it this is the shade demure which is my kind of an everyday shade which is like more of a rosy beige shade and then we have the shade uh, lychee which is more of a coral shade looks superb on the cheek very fresh looking on the face and those are the three shades lychee demure and passion really really pretty and i'll show you like how easy it is to blend these shades it's just stunning it gives such a soft matte finish on the face and it blends like a dream like absolute dream look at that it's just stunning absolutely stunning so that was my top recommendation of the blushes. It was really, really hard, guys. It was really, really hard. But I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys, especially if you are in the market for new blushes. And if you're looking for like what blush should I dip into, especially if you're looking for like drugstore blushes or like indie blushes or like high-end blushes, which are the ones that would suit your skin type i feel like this video would have been helpful for you guys so if you did like it you know what to do do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that i post next i generally upload three videos every single week every tuesdays thursdays and saturdays at 9 a.m eastern standard time until next time i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys